Hello there guys, it's Stephen here, and yes, it is that time of year again. The end of the season is bad news, but it means only one thing. The transfer target is back by popular demand. Well, I say popular demand, I've not done many videos recently, so I presume if I'd asked if you wanted it, you would have said yes, because you usually do. But here is the transfer target. Uh, it's that exciting time of year where we talk about a load of nonsense in the papers, and we uh, speculate and get excited about who could be lining up in a blue shirt at the Etihad next season. It could be some very exciting players. We are the champions of England. It'll never get boring saying that. And we obviously, uh, we want the best. We want the best to improve us next season. Pep knows he doesn't want to drop some focus, and he wants to go for it next season and maybe even try and aim for the records that we're no doubt setting this season. So it's going to be exciting. So I've got three players to discuss today. I'm going to try and break all the rumours up over the next few days because I don't want to get them through all straight away. I want to kind of give it in small, bite-sized segments. I also want to say thank you to all the New York fans that you've seen in the previous video. I'll put a link here somewhere above my head. If you haven't watched that, go and watch it. I know it's from the Swansea game, but basically I got pissed up in a bar with a load of American Man City fans based in New York, and it was absolutely amazing. I was genuinely hammered at the end. Uh, really gone and I miss New York already actually what a holiday that was and uh, Nicola's there as well sat there and she was excited too wasn't it it's was good it was amazing it was amazing and she's right to say that but anyway on to this video also before I want to give a quick shout out to the Patreon Max Mamero. I've been kind of slow on the Patreon recently I'm really sorry about that people I owe you some rewards and I'm gonna get on that this month I promise you big time and I'll make it up to you and I'll get in the comments and all that kind of stuff and I'll let you know when I'm gonna do your videos that you need and all that anyway but moving on to the actual transfer target now, the first name is Jorginho of Napoli, and Gazzetta dello Sport and Sky Italia are both reporting that we're in for uh, the number six, Napoli's uh, pivot. It's the hub of their team that we're in for him, and he would be a very exciting signing. Now, this one makes absolutely loads of sense for many, many reasons. We've all seen Napoli play, obviously, in close quarters this season, and he was largely excellent in both those games. Now, Sarri has that team playing a very Guardiola kind of system. Obviously, it's deeply possession-based, he is the heart of the team, sit there receiving the ball from the defenders, receiving it from the keeper, starting things from close. He's just such a Guardiola-esque kind of player. It makes sense on so many levels. And someone like Jorginho, well, he'd obviously be honoured to work in the Guardiola and play in a team like this. Well, it'd make perfect sense. And given the fact that Fernandinho isn't getting any younger, well, there's definitely something to this. Now, obviously, it's not as easy as just saying, well, I like you, you like me, let's kind of be one. Well, it's not going to be as simple as that. City obviously going to have to negotiate with Napoli big time. Now, City have allegedly only gone off up, up to 44 million. Only 44 million. Guess how football's changed. It's mad, isn't it? When Napoli are holding out for 60 million, this is obviously just the early stages of a very protracted transfer saga. I've no doubt they'll find somewhere in the middle, maybe closer towards 60, let's be honest. And we'll probably end up getting on, man, if we want him that much. I'm sure United will be sniffing around as they always do, but this makes sense on so many levels for me. I was really excited about the possibility of Fred from Shakhtar, but the one thing I like about Jorginho over Fred is that, for one, uh, Fred, uh, he's a little small. He's about five foot seven, and that's obviously not the smallest size for a holding midfielder. Kante proved he can do that job very well at Chelsea. But for me, the problem is Kante has a big man alongside him usually. Fernandinho doesn't. Fernandinho is a very important part of actual defence given the fact he wins so many headers in his own area. Kante couldn't do that. Fred probably couldn't do that. They're tenacious, willing players, but they're not giants. Now, Jorginho is not a giant, but he's at least around 5'11", and that's a considerable height advantage over someone like that. He can more than hold his own physically in the Premier League, and to me, that's an important part of his game. Never mind his absolutely excellent ball retention and his ability to pass from deep. He's just a fantastic player, and I'm sure he would fit into this squad very much. I'm I'm hoping this one's almost a certain... I say it's not. It's obviously not certain. I take that back. But I'm hoping this is one that we're definitely after. And I think we are definitely after him. Obviously now it's just going to be a case of time will tell. But fingers crossed we will get him. Now the next one is equally as exciting. But in a different kind of way. And it does actually, according to rumours and according to Sam Lee on Twitter. Sam, if you're watching this, thanks for the tip, mate. Uh, according to Sam, if we don't get Kylian Mbappe or maybe uh, Ria Mahrez from Leicester, we'll go for Leon Bailey, the Leverkusen winger. Now to me... This one would be uh, extremely, extremely exciting. I really like uh, Bailey. From what I've seen of him, he just ticks every Manchester City kind of box, every Guardiola winger kind of box, and he's only 20 years old. Very much one of the breakout, st uh, breakout stars. I'm still very tired. Breakout stars in the Bundesliga this year. He's been absolute fire. And he's been, um, did I just say absolute fire? And I'm 32 years old. 
I definitely didn't mean to say that. On fire is what I meant to say. Uh, he's been fantastic there this season. His stats have been very similar to Leroy Sane's. He's played about 28 games, which is, I think is one less league game than Leroy Sane. But he scored nine goals. I think Sane's on 10, uh, assisted nine, and Sane's on 12. So very similar stats. If not, uh, obviously, I think he's created more chances as well. So they're very similar. And he's obviously playing in a, a much less uh, attacking team, a lot, much less brilliant team than Manchester City. He obviously is very versatile. He can play on the left or the right. He basically is the kind of person that uh, Guardiola would mould into this complete attacking forward and he has that absolutely dynamic pace he's absolutely lightning uh, and he'd be a good option we want a versatile forward and for me he fits the bill do I think it'll happen? I don't know but he's definitely on our radar and he's one to keep an eye on and another one, and it's just a quick out, Havaro Del Rosa in the EDS player has left the Herfer Berlin. Now, I like Havaro. He's a good player, very skillful, very direct winger, can play either side, normally on the left, but he can play on the right. And he's been a bit of a star for the Dutch youth teams uh, internationally. So problem is he had is he's never going to get near the first team given the wingers we've got and given the fact that he's 19 years old so it's no surprise to me that he's gone on a free transfer to Herf and he's the kind of player that I can see maybe just blowing up one day out of nowhere if he settles into life over in Germany it's a great signing for them uh, and lots of great clubs are actually watching him you've just really never seen close to our team I think it was because like the likes of Brahim uh, were ahead of him even though he's probably more suited physically to this league uh, at the moment anyway given the fact he's older but he was just never going to kind of get a chance I don't think it's City, so don't really blame him for moving on but I guess you can't keep them all but he's one of those players that you wouldn't be surprised if two years he's a very very good player but then so be it I wish him all the very best we can't hold on all these young players and hopefully he has a great career anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the transfer target thank you for all your support as ever you're all absolute stars go and watch that New York vlog it was absolutely amazing let me know in the comments who you want to see discussed on the next video and I'll see you next time